What's up guys, Shane from Fugitec 3D Printing and today we're working on the Sidewinder X1. We're gonna go ahead and install a metal idler onto the extruder. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Let's get started. Welcome back guys. So let's do a little bit of background before we actually get started in doing this very, very simple mod swap out. And I had done a video um, a few months ago on this printer and the issues that you have to be aware of when you're buying it. There are two very large issues with this printer. Number one being these ribbon cables. So right now I actually have printed a uh, clamp that actually holds that on and that ensures that that won't go away. I had alleviated that problem before by using a little bit of hot glue which I am still using on the Z cables here and on this part of the X cable. There is a smidge of hot glue on there and that is keeping those cables nice and seated but I wanted to just have a little bit more security on the actual moving carriage so I went ahead and added on that clamp you can find on Thingiverse and I'll put a link for that down below. The other thing that is the problem is the idler arm on this printer. Now from the fact it comes cranked all the way down and a lot of people break it because they try to push back on the thumb part of it which is what you're supposed to do on a Titan extruder push this back and push your filament in when you do that it breaks but even if you loosen it and use the change filament feature this will break eventually I've already gone through two of these arms I'm on arm number three and it has been working for about two months now fantastic but I'm a little worried that it's gonna break during a print. Now I have a 0.6 millimeter nozzle on here so I can do some very large, very fast printing on this. But again, I do not want to waste half a roll of filament because that idler arm is going to break out. So cue the metal idler arm. Now what is this? Basically, this is an aluminum version, a solid milled aluminum version of that idler arm in their clone Titan extruder. There's a lot of controversy about this, but this is the tried and true way to correct this. Or you could buy a legitimate E3D idler arm for I think about $20 on Amazon or Fiddler Extruder or from E3D themselves, and you could have that. There is no problem in the world with a legitimate injection molded E3D idler arm. I've had one on several printers I have with legitimate Titan extruders for years. The oldest being my uh, FT5 has had it for probably going on three and a half years now about. Three, yeah, three and a half years now about. It'll be four years in the fall and it has been working great and I don't use change filament. I push that idler arm back and I fish my filament in there and I go from there. Or I, once I get the filament in there then I use the wheel, the thumb wheel here to kind of push it down and in. Either way works, but again, with properly injection molded parts, they just work. So enough of the soapbox, let's get to actually installing this. I'll show you just how easy it is. Let's get to it. First things first, I've got some filament in here, so we are going to go ahead and do the change filament out, and we're gonna wait for this to heat up, and I'm gonna remove my filament. You have to have this out, because it actually go, your filament goes through the idler arm, and this little hole right here it actually goes in there, so we need to get our filament out of the way. All right, so now we need to do, once we have that filament out, we're gonna go ahead and power it off and move it to the side. We need access here to the left side of the extruder carriage so that we can pull all of this off and be able to get to that idler arm. All right, first off, we're gonna go ahead and remove this fan. Now this fan does have a grill on the front of it. So just be mindful of that. These have very long screws. All right, so when you pull out the last one, you're also gonna have the heat sink come loose. So we've got Fan grill, fan, and heat sink. And while you're at it, go ahead and make sure you clean that out and move that, okay. My jump the gun didn't zoom in properly. So first thing you wanna do is remove these four screws from around the fan. You're gonna have a fan grill, the fan, and the heat sink pop off, which gives you access to the outside of the extruder plate. We're gonna go ahead and remove this now. Now when you pull this off, be very mindful. There is a spring right here behind the idler arm that is going to want to jump out at you. Just be aware of that. You don't really need it for this, but there's no reason to throw it away. You can always have it for a spare. If something happens with this aluminum arm, which never should, or if you have another printer that has one, uh, you wanna make sure that you have an extra one around. Now we can go ahead and remove this front plate. So once you open this up, you can see this is the side arm that we were just working on, or the side panel. Here's the arm, it just loops right off and this is what it is. This is their newer version, which actually has not cracked on me, 
Thank goodness. Uh, let's see if there's any wear in there. No, it doesn't look any wear on it, so that's good to go. All right, so we're gonna take this, set it aside, get our metal one, which is right here. Now we do still have the thumb screw here in the back. I'm gonna make sure this is nice and loose. Make sure that stays in there. This new one is gonna go right in its place. It goes down around the shaft. Now once I removed all four of these screws, this plate came off very easily. Now I can just go ahead and put these things back in. The wheel, which the bearing came off, slide everything back into place. Now once you have it in there, you'll go ahead and clamp your hand on the back of here, which is the back of the motor, and the side plate, and you'll want to feed in your four screws again. All right, so that's mounted back on there, but now you can see our arm here is uh, quite loose. So we're gonna go ahead and just tension up this back a little bit. We just wanna get this snug. Okay, you don't want too much. And then pulling back, you can see that's how you're gonna actuate it. Perfect, now you can loosen and do this any other time, but now it's just an easy time to do it. Now we're gonna go back here to the side. We're gonna put the heat sink, the fan, and the grill back on. And that is just about it. The one thing that we do need to add is a little piece of PTFE tubing. So you could take the one out of the original arm if you want to, but since I have lots of it, I'm going to just make a new piece for it. And there we go. That is now an aluminum idle arm. All right, now to make sure everything works the way it should, we're gonna go ahead and preheat this and load some new filament and make sure it comes out the way it should. All right, so now that it's uh, preheated here, we're gonna just push this down all the way until it stops. We're gonna hit confirm and then it is going to pull the filament in and out the bottom we should see some filament come out. And there it is right there. So that worked, no issues there at all. Now we have a pretty much indestructible arm there that's not gonna cause us any problems in the future. And there it is guys, a simple $10 mod to make sure that their janky idler arms never give you a problem midst of that big long print that you've been waiting to do forever and if you have an idler arm break on you, not gonna happen with this sucker in there. If you want to have a link for where to pick this up, I have a link down below. I've only ever found it on AliExpress. Uh, if, Amazon, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll put it there too, but uh, as far as I know, Ally is the only place I was able to actually find this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Either way, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments what you guys think about the printer, this mod, or anything else I do on my channel. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you do that. Hit that bell icon, and you, know, you get a notification when I upload new content. If you wanna support me and help me fund new projects, kinda of like doing this, become a patron. It only takes a dollar to join in the Patreon club, and I also have Discord and things like that you guys can check out. So check all those links down below. There'll be affiliate links down there for anything I use on my channel. Check those out, and um, yeah, that's about it. My outros are horrible right now. I'm just not feeling these lately, at least these outros. But yeah, anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next time, happy printing.